Lick Taylor, where we're going to. And we stopped at the Brew Moon, we grabbed ourselves a couple of bottles of mighty good brew from the store of family there, and it was that tablets, which we would later find out. And the sun was clouds were just sitting there looking fine. And, uh, you know, I was asked the question, what's the weather going to be like? It's going to be cold, it's going to be wet. I didn't really know. And looking at this uh, view, you would think, uh, it's going to be just beautiful, man. Look at that sunlight shining through as we pass across the single lane bridge before we hit the gravel. The gravel was pretty mighty damn fine. I tell you what, that was one hell of a challenging wee ride. It doesn't look like that much when you're sitting on the uh, on the little seat watching this video clip, but that gravel, damn, it had some pretty dodgy bits there, and we really made the most of it by just getting there. As we did, there was a bit of rain. And some drizzle and some goodness and the wind. The wind was insane. You know, 30 k's of gravel, it took us pretty much an hour to travel down there. It was pretty slow down. And you set up a tent, you can see those clouds, they're just cruising on by. We all had pretty low prof profile tents bar one. <laughs> this one. That was a problematic tent. A little bit too high profile. The rhythm, the rhythm. <laughs> foot tap high and we went down by the lake and we checked it out and it was blowing and yeah it was blowing it was a lot of blowing we were lucky to have this wee shelter it was truly spectacular to be honest and we cooked up our dinner up in the shelter which was spectacular to be honest we, we did a really good cookout look at that sizzles I hadn't had sizzles for a long time it got dark very dark Bit of music, and then we woke up, and it was, you know, you couldn't ask for a better morning. It was spectacular, you know, to t take the trip from what it was the day before, where it was windy and blustery and gaily and horrible. The morning made up for it. Uh, yeah, I'd definitely go back up there, you know, it was a challenging ride to get in there now, but to wake up on that morning with the crystal clearness and beautiful skies and uh, wonderful looking lake scenery, blah blah blah, blah. just brilliant. You know, 30 k's of gravel, it's, um, you know, it, it's not too bad. River um, thing that they do the 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 the, the car, not kayak it's the other one with the fire boat. <laughs> it doesn't really matter to be honest with you. That's not what we were doing. There was quite a bit of traffic coming in there. the uh, food place here and have a grip of food. There's a bit of a side shot. There you go, there's, there's me and uh, Alex are on there and uh, we're heading back in through to uh, Rangiora. I got home and I was craving some eggs. I'll tell you what, I don't know why, why was I craving eggs? I love eggs. But it was a great trip, I'd do that one again in a flash.